In response to Robert Kiyosaki's most recent tweet, do you think the stock market may be about to drop dramatically? Or is Kiyosaki exaggerating the stock market's current situation? Let us know in the comments below. In this video, we'll examine Kiyosaki's stock market crash warning, determine whether it should be taken into account in our research, and speculate on possible causes. I'm sure you wouldn't want to miss this edition of our video, so pay attention as we bring additional information in this one. Should we be expecting a market crash? The most potent financial force in the financial markets is a mean reversion, which will be responsible for the biggest crash in history. A buyer and a seller are essential to any market transaction. The only variable is the exchange's price. Any attempt to reduce or diversify a portfolio's exposure to risk will result in worse performance compared to an index composed entirely of equities. The most appropriate time to prepare for a crash is before the crash, Robert Kiyosaki tweeted recently. Soon, the global economy will suffer its most significant ever downturn. Gaining wealth during a market downturn is good news. However, the upcoming crash will be a protracted one, which is terrible news. Is Kiyosaki exaggerating? Robert Kiyosaki recently said, the best time to prepare for a crash is before the crash. The biggest crash in world history is coming. The good news is, the best time to get rich is during the crash. The bad news is, the next crash will be a long one. Rather than waste your time debating whether or not Kiyosaki is correct, let me assure you that he is. However, timing remains an ongoing issue. Going to cash out too soon can be just as bad for your finances as the crash, as we've already established. I've talked to many people who went to cash just before the crash over the past decade. At the time, they were sure their choices were the right ones. After the market bottomed out, that confidence was replaced by confirmation bias. They were convinced the bear market had not yet ended and searched for supporting facts. As a result, they stayed in cash. The penalty of sitting out on a market rise is evident. Many people stayed put in money, afraid they'd miss the market's turnaround from bearish to bullish. But they were wrong. Fear of being incorrect meant that investors like you and I didn't invest even when markets took a dip. If a catastrophe of this magnitude breeds, your property is in jeopardy and needs your urgent attention. If you don't think you need to safeguard your investments right now, when will you? The worst stock market collapse ever is on the horizon. According to Kiyosaki, liberals and environmentalists blamed the drop in oil production that led to inflation and stimulus checks that were paying people not to work. He forecasted the collapse of stock and bond markets and the onset of depression and social unrest. According to Robert Kiyosaki, a stock market catastrophe, depression, and social upheaval are all on the horizon. The famous author said that inflation is killing retailers, even huge ones like Target and Walmart, because consumers do not have the disposable income to make purchases. For quite some time, the author of Rich Dad, Poor Dad has sounded the alarm about a looming economic depression warning that depression and hyperinflation are upon us. He urged investors to stock up on gold, silver, and cryptocurrency. He outlined why bonds were the most precarious financial holding during a global financial crisis back in April. It's tragic, he said, that an inexperienced investors take the standard 60-40 stock bond recommendation at face value. Also, he expressed his continued optimism for Bitcoin earlier this month, saying he would buy more BTC once prices bottomed out. He thinks $9,000 is a reasonable estimate. The Recent Economic Bubbles The dollar's downfall is imminent, as Kiyosaki said earlier this year. According to him, the month of March marks the giant bubble in recorded history. Simply put, I agree with Kiyosaki. The most powerful financial force in the financial market is a mean reversion, which will be responsible for the world's largest disaster. In every case, the market resumed or accelerated past its prior exponential growth trend. I would typically use a logarithmic scale to reduce the prominence of large numbers in stock term stock market price charts. However, as we look at the past outliers from the fundamental growth trend, we see that this is not the case here. In a crucial sense, nothing has changed this time around. Always, there was some new thing that got people excited about the future. There have been speculative bubbles in various industries over the past 500 years, from tulip bulbs and railroads to real estate and technology emerging markets five times, automobiles, commodities, and even Bitcoin. Once more, regardless of their causes, all financial bubbles shared common characteristics. One, an extremely high level of speculative interest from ordinary people. Two, a confident conviction that this time was different. And number three, 
an unfortunate ending that wreaked havoc on the family's finances. The same thing will probably occur this time too. Appropriate timing is crucial. Given the outcome of things as explained, it is safe to say that a crash will occur. The question is when? A crash may happen next month, next year, or in 10 years. Unfortunately, we have no way of knowing. As mentioned in our previous video, how to make money in the 2022 recession, making headway toward your financial objectives is hampered by holding on to cash or other assets that significantly underperforms either inflation or the market. Cash triggers in particular necessitate a shift in investor mindset from the fear of missing out, F-O-M-O, -O, FOMO, to fear of being invested, F-O-B-I, FOBI. As was previously mentioned, this is where there is a severe problem with the current lack of liquidity. Buyers and sellers in the stock market interact to facilitate transactions at predetermined prices. More formally, there must be a buyer for every seller. This is a critical consideration. A buyer and a seller are essential to each market transaction. The only variable is the exchange's price. Buyers will flee when the selling starts in earnest and prices will fall. There were, in fact, buyers willing to take advantage of sellers' panic. As a result, the decline from the all-time high was only 35%, which factors led to this shift in thinking. No one has any idea. Yet, looking back through time, only a few factors have caused crashes in the stock market. An external shock that alters economic forecasts like geopolitical crises, war or pandemic, rates of interest that are shooting up suddenly, an unexpected spike in inflation and currency-related event or a currency crisis. Every financial crisis in history may be traced back to one of these five causes, most often a credit-related incident. The occurrence must never go as planned. This brings out the unexpected shift from greed to fear. It is noteworthy that we're ticking off most of these boxes already. Preparing for the crash. As investors, you should never discount risk under the assumption of some force. Every era of speculation brings forth a crop of theories designed to justify the speculation and the speculative slogans are easily seized upon. Dr. Benjamin Anderson wrote in Economics and the Public Welfare that the term New Era was the slogan for the 1927 through 1929 period, and we were in the new era in which old economic laws were suspended. So we know two things with certainty. Robert Kiyosaki will be correct about the next crash, and we have no idea when it will happen. Fortunately, we can take certain actions to protect portfolios from a crash without sacrificing financial goals. However, such actions are not free of cost. Properly seizing portfolio positions to mitigate the risk of concentrated positions, these actions include rebalancing portfolio allocations, taking profits from extremely overbought and extended positions, selling laggards, not dismiss the value of bonds in a portfolio and looking for non-correlated assets to mitigate risk. Our focus as investors. As investors, our job is not to beat some random benchmark index, but to make sure our investments meet just two goals. Exceed the rate of inflation, meet the rate of return required to meet your long-term financial goals. Any objective that exceeds these two goals requires an undertaking of increased risk and can ultimately increase losses. With the current depression, Kiyosaki recommended continued investment in precious metals, according to Kiyosaki. It happened, market crash, with inflation going up. But the thing is, it's already coming down. If the economy is only growing at 2%, that's a technical depression. So people are watching, the stock market is up, everybody is happy, and all this. But everything is inverting upon us. Just recently, that euro-dollar curve inverted. And so this one is going to happen again. That's why I'm saying to people, because I'm a gold, silver, and Bitcoin bug, this is a good time to get gold and silver. Kiyosaki predicted that Bitcoin and other financial assets would suffer during a market meltdown and slump. The businessman claimed that the Federal Reserve's promotion of what he calls false inflation is what would spark the crisis. Our deepest hope. If you're waiting on the sidelines, hoping the market will continue to rise, you may want to rethink. In all honesty, it is my main worry and we hope this development doesn't hit and affect investors the hard way before we realize that Robert's words might be true. In all, take the time to analyze the market and learn from current and past developments, especially from history beyond our lifetimes, as Ray Dalio suggests. Check out our other videos to learn more about money and to deepen your financial literacy. Let us know in the comments which other video topics you'd like us to cover.
Also, consider re-watching this video to ensure you caught all the tips. If you liked this video, subscribe and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching.